Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. Women's boxing, where is it heading? Uh, everybody's going to say Porky, you was right. So, alright. Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here. The voice of our core boxing. Right, straight in then. No messing about. Ring Magazine. I've just done rankings. Fury's obviously champion. Joshua's number one. Dylan White's in at number two. What's all that about? Why is Dylan White in at number two behind Joshua with Fury champion? Wilder, he's number three. So they're your top four now. Dylan White's belt that he's got is what British title <laughs> point I want to make is what are the ring magazine people trying to tell us is there going to be a fight between Tyson Fury and Joshua next is it going to be Dylan White because Joshua's got Pula well Dylan's got Povetkin on it on 22nd so are they getting it all ready for if Dillian beats Povetkin because this is how sanctioning bodies although it's not a sanctioning body it's a magazine but this is how these sort of scenarios work out they plan ahead Dylan White beats Povetkin on 22nd he's already ranked number two with Ring Magazine he could quite easily fight Fury next Wilder could take step aside money if Wilder takes step aside money, takes step aside money that could be a good move for him in my opinion it gives him time to work with a new trainer and plus, if he did get tonked by Tyson Fury again, right, it'd be free money because Al Heyman would make sure that Wilder gets the same money that's in the original contract. So the step aside money is just a top up bonus because if he gets ruined in the Tyson Fury rematch, right, because Tyson should beat Dylan, if he gets ruined, it's like extra money because he probably won't fight again and have that much money so it's just free money for him and it's step aside money I don't know because I don't hear anything that it is going to happen between Wilder taking step aside money I don't know but it would be a good move but there could be things going on behind the scenes now whereas Dylan White could fight Povetkin in a couple of weeks which he does 22nd of August beats him then goes straight in with Fury it's very, very, very interesting because Joshua's not going to fight till December and why should Dylan have to wait for him? Although he had the chance to fight him last year, didn't he? So it's very, very interesting times but I can see Dylan White fighting Povetkin then Fury for Ring Magazine belt. That's what I can see happening. It's very, very interesting what's going on but we're going to see, aren't we? Oh, he could fight Fury for WBC belt and the Ring Magazine belt and Wilder takes Step Aside. Step Aside for Wilder at this stage of game is good. He's been out at game six months and it gives him time to get over it. He had injuries, he'll have mental problems over it, confidence problems. He might be gun shy and if he's gun shy, he's finished anyway. And he'll have time to work with a new trainer and you're getting millions of pounds in your pocket and you're still getting to fight for the same contract that you've got on paper. But you're just fighting a bit later and getting a few million in your pocket in the meantime. So it would be a good thing for Deontay Wilder to do that, I think. Uh, take step aside. But I don't know. It's just we're all guessing at the moment, aren't we? But as Alan Smith would say, Bean! Exciting times ahead, Johnny. This is why we love this sport so much. So... So peace out, keep on trucking, keep sporting boxing. Don't have nightmares.